this week. The rest of it, it's all Metroid. Let's do this in three, two, one. I'm like eager and also terrified to figure out what this um actual uh, color palette swap looks like. Aye, aye, Cap. Oh, look at me! I'm so cool! <laughs> look at me! Yeah, that's, aw that's awesome. That's hype. Woo -woo -woo. I don't even want the gravity suit. Um, wow, y'all, all of that noise all at once just threw me off. That's why I failed that flash room so bad. Well, I'm happy that was at the top of his priority. Um, ooh, nap rooms look good. It's cool. I, I like it. Um, every single room changes, which is pretty, which is pretty interesting. What's up, man? <laughs> sure. Thanks, Jimmy Caldera, for the 22 months. Guys, for those who don't know, uh, Jimmy Caldero is a dear friend of mine from uh, college, um, and he's one of the few people who's really helped me with uh, starting stream. So, like, Jimmy's awesome. Give him some love. Dude, how's it going? I haven't seen you since the football game. <clears throat> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh my god, look at the zombie. Oh, that's so creepy looking. <laughs> I really don't want to get the gravity suit, man. I just look like an inherent badass. Thanks, and today's your B-Day as well? Nice. Happy birthday, Valentine's Day. It isn't where it's gonna sing those. Yeah, that's fair. Blech to V-Day. V-Day sucks. To be fair, Danny and I are very, um... Danny and I are very chill when it comes to Valentine's Day, right? Um, so... She, she and I love giving each other gifts, but we're also, like, very money, money conscious right now, considering we have our big trip to Japan soon. Ah! That reminds me, Jimmy. I gotta ask you, because you were in Japan a few years back, right? Got need some tips on on, to, on things to check out when we go. And we're gonna have fun. Um, you haven't streamed since 2022? Really? Wow, it's been that long? Yeah, I haven't seen you stream in a minute, but damn, I didn't realize it was that long. The open air markets? What are those? Happy single person. Oh my gosh. I'd go at least once a year. Oh, oh, those little gates look interesting too. The computer's a potato now. Oh, I got a brand new PC. Um, Metal Glen Solid sold me his old one. And it's not really old. It's pretty good. Thank you, Glenn. New to me, exactly. He didn't sell me some ancient uh, artifact. <laughs> I want to say that. I did hit some really good color palettes. By the way, I may have noticed, you may have noticed, um, and I noticed it for sure. When I was streaming Final Fantasy, it was in 1080p, and I noticed every now and then the quality would get a little low, right? So I, I, I swapped the, uh, on settings, on settings on output, I went the rescale back to 720, because when I rescaled it to 1080, I realized my uploads were always kind of, not always crisp. Sometimes they were, but sometimes they weren't. So when I play Rebirth, it's going to be in 720, 
Um, just because it's it's clearer on YouTube on the upload. Oh my god, what is this? That thing looks infected. Ugh. Uh, X.264 slower CPU usage preset higher bitrate. We'll look at that some other time. Holes. I, I know all of those words, but I don't know what you're saying. Okay. X.264, that's that's MP4. Slower CPU usage preset, higher bitrate. So does my bitrate need to be higher? Is that something I can change midstream or probably not? Mine is still supposed to be good, but it randomly decided to suck. Oh, that sucks. Sorry about that, man. Does it work at all or... My bit rate is... What do I check the bit rate again? I forget where to check it. Bit rate is 3,500. Is that too high? So, but okay. But when I... Okay, if I'm doing Final Fantasy VII Remake, is 3,500 seems to be clashing with the uh, quality there. I swear it's difficulty 5, chat. You probably want to go higher if you're doing 1080p on Final Fantasy. Okay, if I'm doing... I swear this is difficulty 5, chat. This seems too easy. Goodness, it gave me an energy tank. I want to be challenged here. Probably plasma. Okay, so what's a good number if I'm... So that number will fix the... Uh, okay, so if you look at my latest YouTube upload for Final Fantasy VII Remake, it was Hell House, I believe, right? Um, During that fight, you'll notice parts of the video that just look kind of grainy. It, it doesn't look like it's crisp. It doesn't look like it's crisp. So as a result, I lowered the thing to 720 just in case. If that's not going to fix the issue, what's a good level of bitrate for Final Fantasy? Just a, a ballpark. If you had a more powerful CPU, you could record and stream at the same time. I do, uh, you know, well, I, I do record and stream at the same time. My speed runs. I don't do it for Final Fantasy. If you're saying I should do it for Final Fantasy so that way I can prevent that uh, issue, I'll do that. And I'll just compare the video and whichever one looks more crisp, I can upload that one to uh, YouTube. The PC is pretty powerful, but I mean, if it's, if, if, you know. It doesn't really have an issue in terms of like uploads or stuff, but it, 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 there seems to, oh, look at the background here. That's so nice. I know the Twitch official bitrate limit is 6,000, but people regularly push AK without issue. Hmm. So if I don't record and stream at the same time, if 3,500 too low, can I go to like 4K maybe? Are you uploading editing from the VOD? So, um, I, no, I upload the, I upload it directly from, uh, from Twitch and then I edit it on edit, on what is not edit, what is it called? It's not Edison. What is this thing called? I use DaVinci Edison. I use DaVinci. I edit it off DaVinci because I add outros and stuff. You could record at higher quality than would you stream at. Oh, okay. All right, then we'll figure this out. I think with Fusion, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Y'all let me know if like the quality drops at any point during the Fusion stream. That's fair. You could try 6k bitrate and it should at least be better. I would assume so, but I would just hate, like, I didn't mind much for remake, but like, I want people to watch my videos on YouTube. And if the, if the quality is too low, they're not gonna do it. You know, it's just gonna look too bad. It's a 3600. 
So with those specs, what do you think? Oh, look at the water or the lava. Oh, that's so cool. Glenn, I'm, I'm not happy with this seed. Bad seed. If I get wave beam, I'll be able to have some fun. Yeah, we did. We definitely set the encoding to that. I remember you uh, prioritized that. We can look into this stuff for sure. Because again, it didn't make the videos, the Final Fantasy videos, unwatchable. But I would like when I stream Rebirth and put the Rebirth VODs on YouTube that that doesn't happen. Because I do plan on doing more games through my PlayStation 5. I do want to stream like Nier Automata and Nier Replicant, for instance. Oh, wait. There's an item I missed here. I see. No, but that would be cool if it did. Dude, this seat's so baby. Remember, we require all bosses, so this one will take longer than you think. How about this? We can run through the settings, if not today, definitely later this week, because I do plan on uh, playing at least the uh, the next, the, the second part of the demo for Final Fantasy VII. Um, I get not everyone may not want to watch that, but that'll be a good test, you know? Or plus I could probably just like stream Fortnite or something. Or not Fortnite, another game on my console, just to test it out, you know what I mean? If it's all for testing it out, I'm willing to do it. Oh, I like how this glows. But yeah, obviously you guys are watching the rando, but like, let me know. Like, if you're able to, watch a Final Fantasy one in particular, preferably a remake one. Um, and if, just let me know if the quality drops and, and see if you know what I'm, if you see what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? You are? Okay. Do you notice it by any chance? I've noticed it a lot. Okay, like, okay, the final video, check out the Hell House fight. Like, during that fight, I feel like the quality just randomly falls off. Like, it looks pixelated on my camera video. It also looks sometimes pix pixelated on the actual game. What if it's, you know what it might be? It might just be a capture card thing. It might just be the capture card. It would definitely be helped by simply raising the bitrate. Okay. The more movement, the worse it'll get. That makes sense why during the Hell House fight that happened, because if anyone's familiar with how Remake plays, the Hell House fight has a lot going on. It's a big ass house with fire, it's throwing chairs at you. Um, it's just crazy. What capture card do you use? Um, Bitrate is a problem for every modern game. It was, uh, it's the mage well that, remember, remember when you had me buy that mage well? It's been wonderful for me, by the way. I, I don't think the capture card's necessarily a problem. It was that mage well that you had me get uh, when I first started streaming. It's the same one.
I think I sent Glenn the specs. I could look at it real quick if you uh, if, if you need me to remind you which one it uh, specifically was. My one. Yeah, so it's not the capture card. Okay, that's good to hear at least. So then that's probably what it is. It's probably just a. Uh, it's probably just the fixing the bitrate then. It makes sense. PS5 is where I'm streaming it from. I probably wouldn't have the issue if I streamed it on PC, but I can't. PC Final Fantasy fans, you guys have patience that I don't have. I don't know how you would do it, but I'm. I, I can't. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I'm playing this on the PlayStation as soon as I'm able to. Like this game. I'm honestly. I've been more excited for this than Metroid Prime Four. Deal with it. <laughs> I've been more excited for that. Definitely would if you streamed it from PC. Yeah, that's true. The PC would be... Here's the thing, Glenn. This is probably scary to say. You know what game I want to stream on PC? There's two games I want this year. There's Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And then there's Baldur's Gate. Now, I want to play Baldur's Gate on PC, but I've heard some I've heard about some people's experiences with playing and streaming that game on PC. And I heard it's not not the most pleasant experience. Persona 5? Oh my gosh. Uh... I think I die here. I think I die here. I think I die here. Right, now we good. Not even worried. What's up, Nacho? Sector 5? Oh, boy. What was that weird missile noise? I'm scared of those things touching me. Wait, what was the new logic that if you broke five from behind, it was always broken? Oh, that's the indicator that Sector 5 is broken. <gasps> oh, so Sector 5 is permanently broken now, right? Right? Should be. All right, that means I should be able to go down here safely then. Awesome! Which means I can save in the, uh, the, uh... I can, uh, recharge and save and I'll be fine. Let's do that. Oh, I think that's a missile block, right? Yep. There we go, we're good. Um, still just in case to prevent locks, I'm not going to save. But it does help having health. We lived, bitch. Oh. Ah, I can't really do anything with the power bomb. We'll skip it. Any of the drop in quality is just Twitch plus live action on bitrate. So, everyone has that issue? Okay, then cool. So then what I'll do is simple. I'll increase the bitrate, I'll increase it to 4,000, and I'll experiment from there. If if you think the computer can handle 4,000, or whatever the maximum is, we'll just... We'll work around it that way, you know what I mean? Earthbound runners? Okay. So that's still the... Wait, wait, does it, does it push me back, I wonder? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Okay, 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 I'm leaving. Well, I don't really want to risk doing much in Sector 5 right now. <laughs> I 
That's an interesting place for speed to be. But honestly, I, I hate to say it, it's also low difficulty for me. It's right next to where I need to be. It's not far away. 4,000 probably won't be a huge change for the recording. If not, just try 6,000. Okay, we'll try 6,000. Um, when, when I stream Rebirth's demo, the second demo, next week when it comes out, I'll try 6,000. Missiles. Um, we'll get it. Should be able to make. It. Compared to switching to two X four. Um, hold on. That seed settings. Are, those seed settings are wrong. I totally forgot about that. Um. Yeah, those seat settings are not accurate. I forgot to update that. No one look at that. <laughs> because there's no item requirement. It's just all bosses. Yeah, you were looking at those and you were like, huh, something's not right. Okay. I don't think I need missiles, but at the same time, until I have charge beam, some bosses are still unkillable. Our professional streamers have pixelation issues with Tekken streaming due to Twitch's limit. Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah, it's still difficult. Of course it's difficulty five. It doesn't feel like it's a difficulty five seed. I feel like I got screwed over here with a too of easy of a seed. But you know, maybe I shouldn't complain about ease because this could easily be an hour long plasma hunt. You know? Do you have two? Of course, yeah. Tube Shuffle is act actually on here. Um, we can, if we get a little more health, fight Gary. Oh, I can't wait. I'm fine with Wade being here because I have Spazer, so. Bob skip. I should have skipped Bob because of Wave, huh? And before Wave required, it probably is. Well, remember, I want to I wanna fight Ridley for all bosses, so I'm, I'm going to probably need all items. All right, so five is live. Yeah. Well, not all items are required, but if we're fighting Ridley, we definitely need space and wave beam, which at this point implies all items, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Varya actually looks pretty good here. I'm not dying to you by trying to do the darn quick strat. I'm not. I'm just gonna fight you normally. Okay, that's a hype looking data room. Oh, look at the gravity suit! Guys, I'm gonna double check the difficulty. It just gave me both suits back to back. <laughs> what? Honestly, gravity looks pretty hype. No love for Varia. It's like, yo, the game finally gives us a good looking Varia suit, and then the game's like, nope. You guys like the suit? You guys like the suit? Too bad, too bad. You don't get, you don't get the suit. Ah, only we keep the Varya suit if it looks like the background to Sector 3. <laughs> That's the only time you get to keep the uh, Varya suit. We'll keep it, because until we get a- until we get a charge beam, we need as many missiles as we can get. Dude, 
Dude, what is this seed? I swear I clicked five. This is anything but. <laughs> What in the world is going on here? Oh, now that I have power bombs, I can actually. You're absolutely right, Poles. Good, good point. Good point. I've already seen the seed I made yesterday, and it looks so close to the phase on suit. It's cool that they have it, honestly. This is a nice change of, you know, it's a nice change of scenery. Remember, guys, until we get pla until we get charge or plasma, this is n we need missiles. We need every missile because we are fighting every boss. So. Oh, the stretchies look so cool! And they're dead. Mm. Which one should I do first? Ah, let's do Gary first, because it's out of the way. Stretchy. Damn right. Dude, I have fully charged miss I have fully powered missiles and these things still don't die. Really? I have fully powered missiles and you still take four shots? Really? Damn. Alright, we killed Charlie. Not Charlie. Uh, Gary? What did they call this guy? Gary, I think. Alright, so we still need to fight Zazabi, Saris. The... Damage is only five more than ice. I know, but still, it should add up. Let's see. If it takes four without the... Okay, maybe not Gary, but... It better make a difference with, um, Beach Ball. E charge Beam. Or else these uh, Ridley fights are going to be annoying. For y'all's sake, to redeem the siege, y'all better hope Ridley has ice. Or uh, Plasma. Last night, I only needed blue and red doors. It was kind of funny. I love those seeds. All right, let's go here. Remember to door fix this door if you're speed running. This is an... Oh, oh. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, it's so... <laughs> Alright, I don't care about either of those. Screw those missiles, I don't care about them. Uh, no, nah, since they're not, since it's just missiles, I don't care. Yeah, I'll just get more missiles down the line. I 
don't care about that energy tank either. What else in Sector 3 can we do? Looking into some of this. I think we're done with three. I think we're done with three, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else in three. All right, so three is cleared so we can finish. Yeah. I'm the back door. Nice to see your first play through a fusion. You'll figure out the platforming eventually, buddy. God, thank you. I really appreciate those encouraging words because this game, quite difficult. This is my first Metroid game, too. I hear there's a lot of them. Oh, what in the world is this? This looks so cool, but also annoying because the crabs kind of blend in. Old route moment. Hype. Yep. On Hundo. Damn straight. I used to do this route on Hundo. Then I wondered why I could never get below a 130 IGT. All that E. Somebody redeem the E instantly. You play one and you're primed up for the rest. Ah, I see, ah primed up. Ah, uh, get it, get it. Got, chat, do you get it? No? Ah. Man. I dread when people don't understand Metroid jokes. Ah, uh, I, I just noticed he did the dread thing too. Ah! <laughs> Great minds. <laughs> Wait, I'm fighting Saris. We'll just get these items after Saris. <laughs> Door fix this. Top of the room. Just a hint for any Hundo uh, run Hundo aspiring runners. Always door fix these doors, both of them. Sector 4 is charge beam, I'm calling it. If it does, I will laugh. Nah, IGT is better. You shut your mouth. I'm going to take a pick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aniv, you have fun with that. Where's Dark? Yeah, where is Dark Spy? You figured Dark Spy would be all over this. Hi, Saris.
Oh, so you think water is your ally? Yeah, exactly. Let's go. Power bomb and missiles. Okay, cool. Wait, I probably... Ah, I already skipped it. We'll find more missiles down the way. Let's go. We probably shouldn't be skipping all these missiles, though. Yep. So where's the progression game? Now, so far the bosses haven't given me any progression because progression was literally handed to me on a silver platter. Can I even get out of here? Let me see if I can get out of here. I don't think I can, but we'll see. I forget where four is connected to the other. Is it green doors? Blue and green, so that gets me to five. Well, I mean, I guess I could do... But what is four backdoor? Because four can sector shuffle something else. Let's do five, honestly. Because now we have the we have the means. We have the means to uh, get red doors. We have everything capable of getting red doors. So, yeah, we're fine. Having screw attack means we won't be locked. We could also save the animals? No. No. They die. Sage? Don't you mean Sag? Ah, save the frame. See, Isaiah gets it. Oh. All right, here we go. Flash owns fur coats? What? No, I don't. Why would you spread lies like that? Why, because I don't want to save the animals that make me lose 10 seconds because of RNG? No, tell them to get out of that room faster. Oh my gosh, you're awful. Oh, crap. Can I even fight Nightmare right now? Not having charge beam makes Nightmare a little risky. The good news is I can get out of here. Does 60 missiles do it? You can't remember at all bosses. No charge nightmare sounds awful. Maybe. I'll save just in case, because again, I'm not locked here, so. Gosh. The rare save room usage. Maybe nightmare gives charge? <laughs> That'd be funny. I just can't miss any missiles. That's the problem. And plus they're fully powered, so... Just don't miss a missile, Flash. We'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Okay, Nightmare looks pretty cool. 
That golden crust. Crust. <laughs> yeah, we have more than enough. Alright, we're fine, we're fine, everything's fine. Nightmare's dead. <laughs> hey, monkey, how you doing, friend? Monkey, monkey. Rando race? No, I'm kidding. I don't race rando. Yeah, you thought. Get wrecked, monkey. Oh my gosh, I forgot I don't have plasma. Damn, I would have cooked you. Sure you would. <laughs> Oh, I've got Glenn. Get get over here. Get over here. I don't want that thing. Yeah, I, I don't want you. You can stay up there and rot. <laughs> and there you go. All right, let's see. Let's, let's take a look at how worst room in the game looks. I love lower fours color scheme here. Guys, this is still a pretty interesting seed, even though we had such an elementary start. would have soft locked in lower four um that's true i would have i should probably save up there just in case i get soft locked in uh just in case i get locked in the uh, septic tank because i'm the kind of dumbass who will get locked in septic tank so after i get red doors i'm gonna go back and save before you say how are you gonna go back and save i know how to do the shine spark trick guys Sadly, uh, not for a while. Um, I hate to say it, but I, I, I mean it when I uninstalled Overwatch. That game was not good for me. I was getting too angry too easily playing that game. So I'm still, I'm still on a break from Overwatch. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not BSing you. I genuinely uninstalled Overwatch from my console. I didn't quit it, but I'm taking a long break from that game. Hold on a second. A loud motor going on outside. I was trying to figure out where it was coming from. We're good. That was weird. Um. Yeah, I thought only DBD and Fortnite. Nah, honestly, I'm considering doing the same with DBD. DBD's in even worse state. Overwatch isn't in a bad state, per se. I'm just not in a good relationship with Overwatch. DBD is not in a good place at all. I, 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 I can't keep giving that game chances. But like with DBD, I probably will because I do really love that game. I thought it was my computer for a second, but it's not. It's just some loud motor outside. Maybe someone's like cutting the... Uh, or like trimming the bush bushes or something. Well, at least that's not here's the one thing. I'm not giving up on I love Fortnite. Fortnite's in a great state right now, man. You can't tell me Fortnite's in a bad state. Still never played Overwatch? I mean you're not missing much. 
it's a good game, but, you know, it really depends on how... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortnite at this point, or Overwatch, hit or miss. Well, now I can save here. Just in case I get locked in locked in septic tank since I don't have space to uh, jump. Cool. A friend said they were talking about giving people passive heals. No, no, that that's actually live already. But uh, there, there's a lot of other changes too. I was very nervous about it, but according to my girlfriend, it's not it's not like as bad as people think. Also, player raider. Player Raider actively plays Overwatch, so he can give you his opinion on whether or not that passive heals thing is good or bad. I haven't played it to offer a valid opinion. Okay, I hate this one. Well, we're good. In case I messed that up, it seems simple, but still. What's up, Dark Spy? We were just talking about you, wondering where you were at. It's only 20 health per second out of after combat. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll take back what I said on Twitter about it then, because I was worried it was going to be a massive. Because I don't like how powerful DPS is in that game. So... When I heard first saw that, I was like, mm, I don't like the sound of that. Am I on your team here? If you don't get too ambitious, the game playable. Oh, just missiles. Okay, we have 90 fully powered missiles. I think you need 100 for Ridley. All right. I need power bombs. Six. Ooh, six is going to be fun. Because we could do all of six. Until we have charge, we have to respect that. Except beach ball? Oh, we can't fight beach ball. You're right. Son of a gun. Oh, we really need charge beam. Beach ball is required. And we still need space jump too because we can't fight Ridley without space jump. So without without a few of these items, we're still stuck. And we'll get that out first. Let's go. Wait, I can't even do this. Oh. Well, actually, no, I can. It's just... Okay, we could do this item. We could do this item. You can get out of Ridley without space jump. Oh, yeah, because I have screw attack. You're right, Spider. That's a good point. We could just... We could just screw attack wall jump out of that arena. You're very right. Good, good call. All right, that's a missile. And what's this? All right, that's a missile too. Okay, cool. None of these are important. Okay, that was too, too, too far to the left. An ice beam to freeze the pirate to get back into sector one. That's true. So yeah, we're, we're actually, we're actually good. Since we have wave, do we have enough uh, to fight Ridley though? 
or a missile. That's my biggest thing. Okay, screw you, box. Oh my god, I'm really bad today. Looking core. Look at the core here. It looks so hype. Charge beam instantly. Energy tank. All right, we killed box and we got a ninth energy tank. We're at 95, and I believe we're at 24 power bombs. Hundred missiles. All right, so we have reached the minimum amount for Ridley. It's more of a pride thing. I got to get this item. Cool. <laughs> that item. That item has haunted me. So, yo, HBJ, yo, I was watching Mike Fu try to do HBJ on, um, I'm just doing math in my head. Hang tight, chat. I'm doing maths, quick maths. Okay. All right, we're we're gonna revisit Sector Six with Charge Beam. We're going to Ridley now. Yes, let's get all the uh things. Guys, can I get can I get the um <clears throat> is it possible to get the other check? <clears throat> Hold on, let me save here just in case. I think I can get this check. I'm just not too sure and I would hate to just get locked there because I'm a dumbass. <clears throat> you could? Okay, cool. <clears throat> save then try. Oh, yeah. Easy. All right, cool. The game wants me to fight Ridley. I told it I was going to fight Ridley, and the game was like, yeah, okay, we'll do that. I don't know if that reached it or not. I guess we'll check when we come back. <clears throat> Hey, Flash, the UBEL deck I have for you is not top tier, but man, is it fun. I've heard the UBEL deck is really fun. Man, why is it that fusion decks are just the most fun decks? It's 
to make up for years of them being bad. Yep. Stop freaking swapping, you annoying dragon. Gosh. Just stay in one direction. God, I hate this freaking lizard. Damn it, man. <laughs> Needed more ease. I could do the fight without ease. I just got freaking impaled by its tail like 10 times. Mm -mm -mm. Annoying little asshole. I do not need more ease. I'll be fine. Just need to not get hit. Mm-mm-mm. Oh my god, if you keep swapping, you annoying stupid dragon. Stop grabbing me! Oh my god, you're so annoying. Oh, your stupid tail! God damn it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, we'll work it. We'll, we'll keep doing it. <sighs> He keeps grabbing me because he doesn't know boundaries. <clears throat> Lonely. The strat is to go out of bounds. <laughs> Oh my god, your stupid tail! Do the little pogo thing that you love doing so much, you ass! Oh my gosh. We're gonna keep trying. <clears throat> this is ridiculous, man. This is literally how I fought Ridley when I first played the game, because I didn't realize that charge and wave or charge and plasma would do so much damage. 
And I eventually got past it with 10 energy tanks like I'd have now, or 9 energy tanks like I have now, so... It's not a health thing, it's me just not being able to dodge his damn attacks. But because it's harder to manipulate since he's not constantly screaming... Oh my god. Just a reminder, chat, you don't need... It's not a health issue. It's all about just avoiding his hits. I think the best way to do that, now that I realize, is to tank his claw. His claw does less damage. His tail was screwing me up. If you just get hit by his claw and tank the damage there and damage boost, you'll be fine. All right, cool. Moving on from that stress-filled adventure. Boing. That's an interesting one for Diffusion to miss. Why are you crawling down, my guy? I need you to crawl. Okay, I'm gonna just kill the ones on the right instead. Oh my god, you both jumped to the right? Seriously? You jumped again? I honestly... Can you come up, please? Oh my gosh. Damn it. Thought I had it. Oh, stop jumping from spot to spot, you annoying. Ugh. I froze him. Let's try it again. Ice beam or missile, it doesn't matter. I have to, I need them to. It, it's less about the beam and more about the fact that they're just not jumping, and when they do, they jump way too early. Also, my freaking wall jumps today suck. Can you jump? Oh my god, my wall jumps suck today. I don't think I could do it. Ugh, okay. It's less about the AoE and more about the fact that I'm just trying to wait for it to jump on the, with the timing. 
That's all I'm worried about here. It has nothing to do with the AoE. <clears throat> they just didn't want to jump. Here we go. There you go, back to Sector 1. We've been in Sector 1. That's what Ridley is. No, I'm not going to buffer pause, by the way, in case anyone asks. You guys are ridiculous. I like pink save rooms. They're pretty. Alright. And... One... I don't need you anymore. I killed Ridley. That's the last thing I needed. You do pause buffer, Dark Spy. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Um, he's calling me coward. Do 100%. Do 100%, Dark Spy. Yeah. Who's the coward now? All right, I got that one. That's cool. Um, what else do I need to throw? Okay, so I need the one more lava room check. I have green doors, so I can check the screw check at the top. <clears throat> we need Yakuza, which we still can't fight because we don't have space jump. Zazabi, which we can fight. Um, Notori. So we need to make a visit to Sector 2, honestly. Sub 2 hours would be hype for you. Considering your skill on any percent, you'll get a sub two. You just need to know where the items are. Any percent's the harder category. So if you're if you're already sub one twenty on any percent, I have little doubt you can get a sub. Now, is will you get a sub one fifty? Uh, I don't know about that, but sub one fifty is easy too. That but that one would probably take a few attempts. But you could get sub two hours easily. I have little little doubt. So Nacho's goals are sub-120? See, that's a good goal to hit for him. Or sub-150. Sub-150 is a really big deal. It was a huge deal for me when I started. That was a big goal for me. And now I'm going for, uh, well... H Hundo's taking a bit of a backseat since I'm top 20. I do want to get higher in the leaderboards for Hundo. Oops, I forgot. Oops, I forgot. What I don't know is when to get the items. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, because a lot of items, you wait until cleanup. Because it's just not smart to go for them early on because it's actually slower. Cleanup's the best part of the run. Imagine giving me that face on the part of the run where you don't have to talk to Adam. It's literally the best part of the run. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, there's Plasma. <laughs> cleanup is great except for Sector 6. Yeah, Sector 6 cleanup makes me want to pull my hair out, but... All right, Sector 2, you're actually looking pretty good. Now we have blue doors, finally. An hour and nine minutes into the freaking rando. Frame perfect Crumble City? No. Dude, if they lock Space Jump behind Crumble City, that means I can't get Yakuza. Can you imagine if they lock Space Jump behind Crumble City? That means I can't do all bosses. Wait, has that always been like... What? Has that always been a crumble block? That's not... That's been a shot... Both of those have been shot blocks. Both of those have been shot blocks. Okay, why was that changed though? 
All right, Mr. Flasher, I'm out. See you, man. See you, Jimmy. Y'all give Jimmy a follow. Jimmy is awesome. Kazudo changed it per to prevent soft locking, which I don't agree with. But no, I, I, I'm if if there if Kazuto is going out of his way to prevent soft locking, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him credit for that. Okay, like that's 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 good on his part for thinking ahead. You know what I mean? I I appreciate that. I hate broken seeds that soft lock. I I, I hate that stuff. I was just confused. I thought I was like forgetting. I was like, since when was that a thing? I saw a seed last night where you should know not to soft lock yourself. I agree with that as well. I also agree with that. But also, and this is this is where I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. Not every rando, not every rando player is a speedrunner. There are a lot of rando players who, and I'm not, this is going to sound mean, but I'm just going to say it. There are a lot of rando players who don't have the skill levels that me or Poles or you or someone else has. Where we're able to, we have much more game knowledge. Some people just don't know. And I think it's better to give them um, something there. I'm okay with getting locked. You know, because if I get locked, that's my own thing. But I can get it being frustrating for someone who just doesn't really know. Who, or who's not really that good at the, you know, game. That one's more of a devil's advocate thing. I, I see both sides of the argument. I really do. So, I get it. Don't worry. For a surprising number of rando... What? Really? I figure you should at least play the base game and know where the items are first. I feel like that's a requirement. You don't have to be a speedrunner. You know what I mean? Without bombs, that crumble block prevents the soft lock. It's interesting. That's an energy tank. We don't need that. Oh, that reel got stuck in an interesting place. Well, here's the thing. I'm sure he can't fix the fact that if you don't have bombs as a zombie, if you get grabbed, you die. That, that, I think that's a lesson you have to learn. That one, I get it, because that's a boss. It's a little different, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I learned that the hard way, too. I was like, oh, I can't do anything. And he literally won't let go, so you die. Yeah, I can't fix no space with the Yaku locks. Exactly. So there are some things that you're still going to get locked doing. So it's not perfect, but here's the thing. Those are kind of in-game design, you know? That lock up there in Crumble City, I'm kind of cool with it being fixed. Uh, no, we can do this. How come I'm not in it? What they say? They're just talking about cards. They're like talking about cards they're trying, they might trade or some stuff. I get it. Um, again, I get both sides of the argument. Oh, Ooh, you're green today. Hmm, that's interesting. I need glass. Uh, charge me, please. That'd be great. There's a limit, like needing to open yellow doors, then run out of the way to break sector is too much. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, permanently breaking five is great. That's a big quality of life improvement. That's not babyfying the, uh, rando. That's making the rando more fun.
I get it, it can be a little faulty, but if you permanently break... Now, here's the thing. Apparently, there are still ways to lock with that permanent break, which sucks. Which sucks. But, I mean, if it makes the navigation a little easier, I'm kind of cool with it. I see I see the... Re I, I can see a little bit on why. I think perma break is also a needed thing. There are too many times, I feel, where that, that lack of break kind of... I mean, yeah, it makes you think, but again, you gotta remember, not everyone plays the game. Not everyone has that game knowledge. Come, can you freaking get up here? Get up here, Samus! Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Ah! We're gonna be here for a while, chat. I wish it was an insta break and not leave and come back. But if that's the only way, yeah. Whatever works, you know? Alright, cool. We don't have to do this area. I'm sure there are. Make it a toggle and arc. But, um... Does that fix... Does that fix any issues, though? Toggling it at arc? What if you can't get to arc? What if you can backdoor five, but you can't get to the data in the nav room because you don't have high jump or ice beam or anything to freeze the uh, stretchy? Or not the stretchy, the enemy. There's no way you could get to that nav room. You don't, but if you don't, I said high jump or an ice. Originally, if you exited any of the broken rooms and came back without the sector needing to be broken, the sector would fix itself, right? And then you would be locked. If you're saying in order to toggle the break by entering the nav room, say the only way to enter five is to backdoor it, right? If you were to go to that nav room, or say you can't get to the nav room, there are ways to not be able to get to the nav room. You need at least high jump. If you don't have high jump, you need a way to freeze an enemy. I think, yeah, in order to hop up. I might be mistaken, but you need you need a high or space jump. You need a way, your regular jump won't get you up there. We, I love doing that. Ah, <laughs> oh, I thought it was something important. Okay, um, two more bosses left. It's uh, Yakuza and Beach Ball. Damn, we're almost there, chat. What's up, Thunder? Yeah, they absolutely are. Yo, look at Key Hunters, man. They look hype, too. Alright, chat. I'm about to show you something that's gonna blow your mind. Chat. Lock in, chat. Did you know that if you morph at this spot right here and roll to the right, there's a recharge room? It's crazy. It's just there. Base game too, not just random. You never see it in base game because I'm trying to get a personal best. It's not a rando thing. It's not a rando. I, I mean it, guys. It, it's seriously, it's there. It's always there. This bit is getting old. I have no idea what you're talking about, man. What bit? I'm serious, man. That's so cool to have a navigation room right there.
Wow, she's bad at bluffing. 69, nice. I think we finished two, right? Uh, yeah, two is complete. Two is complete. All right. So, um, we have blue doors, so we can check the pump room in sector four. Dude, and I thought this seed was going to be uh, an easy one. We actually have to think about where we can go right now. Flash is bad at bluffing. You should see him play it. Yeah, I laugh when I have a good play. Bro, I'm so happy I have a good tier limit step. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I told you, I play tested by proxying the uh, fusion parasite and uh, use the, um, what's its face? The punk engine. The deck is so much better with the punk engine. The tier limits. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's insane how good it is. Does it die to droll? Absolutely, it dies to droll. But I mean, a lot of decks die to droll. Up, oh, double yellow. Okay, so that's what we could check. We could check yellow extra five. Let me know what times you're free. Um, we could shoot for before 3 p.m. on Saturday or Sunday, both days. Does that work for you? This man said best jump. About to ban you for that horrible comment. He said space jump is best jump. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Um, we don't have charge, so six is still. I mean, we could do six. Six might have charge. Six might have charge. But again, so might five. But you know what? I always trust my logic of six being the play. Time me out, coward. You you just want it. You want to get banned at this point. I'm not gonna give you what you want. Prove to chat that you don't let people have opinions? If that's the case, I would have banned you for your takes on babyfying the seed. But I get your point, so I'm not going to. I'm open-minded, okay? You know what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna time out polls instead. <laughs> Get wrecked, Dark Spy! You don't get the timeout you so desperately crave. Pauls, no! What? <laughs> Pauls is so confused. <laughs> Pauls did nothing wrong. Pauls was like, what did I do? <laughs> I was just chilling here. Oh, man. Uh, okay. I don't like this at all. Middle. Left, right. Middle. Middle. I could... Ugh. I feel my hair just looking awful today. Thank you, Nightbot. That's right. If you spoil Rebirth, I ban you forever. One of the runners I watched thought he soft locked in the pillar room because he didn't understand how to trigger the horizontal pillars. Yeah, to be honest, the game doesn't really explain it. It's very cryptic. I love how I just constantly threaten bans and like never do it. It's because no one really crosses the line often. I'm sure someone eventually will. I've, I, I do have a few perma bans for actual people in the channel. It's happened before. But like you really have to cross a line, I feel, you know? Will I time you out if you're annoying me? Absolutely. Did I really just do that? Okay. Um. Oh wait, I could go down this way. What am I doing? I, it just won't let me fight beach ball, but I can go through there. I'm stupid. Faster to just do that. 
SP takes? We need charge beam to trigger this boss, damn it. I want to finish the seed and move on. Madagascar Dave. So I haven't played this since the sector swapping. Besides color swaps, what is new to the rando? So what is new to the rando is um, tube shuffle. So you know the back doors between sectors? Even though sectors are shuffled, the back doors don't always match. So say three connects to four, three might backdoor to like one, you know? So there's that. Um, what else? Bosses are now back to having items on their... Uh, bosses are now back to having items. I remember 11.6 kind of took that away. They're back. And there's a new way to break um, five. Which, in my opinion, I'm cool with, uh, but I get why people don't like it. That one's a little more divisive, it seems, um, but it's 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 different. Um, other than that, I'm just saying all bosses required to place that extra setting on myself. You know what I mean? SP take, well, overpriced, short printed, and so good. Yeah, SP is the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Seriously, SP Little Knight is the best card that game has ever had. Um, I think, yeah, until we get Charge Beam, there's not much else we can do. So we have to leave Sector 6. What is Sector 6 back? Connectors are different from, yes. So 6 here, six one one does not actually connect to 6 on the main map. It doesn't do that. We finished 1, right? Hold on, looking around. Yeah, 1's done. 3 is done. Six is not done, but we need... Yo, it might be animals, man. Watch, case in point. You see how one connected to six? When we go up this elevator, you're going to see that it's different. See? One connects to three on the left. Six is actually to the one's right. So it makes you... It's like, huh, that's interesting. So you're going to have to remember it or write it down. I, I, I think so, Thunder. Again, Fusion's design might make it hard to do a full-on room rando possibly ever. But hey, if there's an opportunity... Oh, wait, I didn't even check that room. That room has progression, chat! That room has progression! <laughs> what? I never checked it! <laughs> yes, it's not Space Jump, but eh, better than nothing. Remember, we need space jump. Our, our the mission here is all bosses, guys. I need space jump. I can't get out of Yakuza otherwise. Space jump at Mega X. Can you imagine? Oh, dude, that's actually possible. Yeah, every item is needed here because I chose the all bosses required. No, I already checked space. Um, okay, what if it's vanilla Yakuza? Oh, that would be so annoying if it was vanilla Yakuza. Might be worth the check. Might be worth the check. Yeah. Yakuza is my king and it's not close. Hmm. All right, if this is progression, we save the animals. It is not. The animals die. Thank you for the follow. 98% seed incoming. I mean, look at that. Even without the item requirements, this is still take. It's still taking a very long time, so... All right, let's uh, go to Yakuza real quick. Um, the plan is simple. We backdoor two and we get back to six. Um, what else can I do in main, actually? Yeah, we can check the Yakuza checks. Yeah. 
You guys are awful. Oh yeah, that's that's hard to look at. Sorry about that chat. In case anyone yeah. Should probably place like a warning there. I'm gonna check to see if it's vanilla. I think it'd be hype. If this is vanilla, Yakuza, I'm gonna laugh. We gotta give it a chance. Bosses could have items. Alright, we saved to prevent the lock, so we're good. Oh, this is so hype, dude! Okay, I was trying to cheese with the plasma, but it's probably faster to use missiles. Give me space jump. It's not. Oh, it is! Yo! <laughs> Dark Spy did call it. Dark Spy absolutely called it. All right, let's get let's go back to beach ball. I thought it was an energy take at first, and then I realized I was like, wait, I already had twelve. Oh, nice! Hi, pipe, 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 pipe. Eleven point six would never. We gotta get back to six. How did I get to six? Was it from two? Did we backdoor six from two? I don't even remember, man. Yeah. Elevator's probably easier. How did I do it? Did I back to it from one or six? That was pretty hype. Area tracker would be cool. According to Kyle Zito's post on that forum, it looked like there was more coming. 2022 and 2023, I guess we're just... Off years. I get it. Everyone's human here. But I don't know if it was necessarily area tracker, but I do, if I'm not mistaken, I did read that there was something coming. So we'll see. All right, let's see here.
You're human? Veronica says you're not? <laughs> you're human. To me, you're human. That's a little, a little heart there. I want door locks to be in the item pool. I think, honestly, if there's a way to swap security doors, if there's any way to make that in Logic, I think that would be hype. And I'm interested in seeing um, how, you know, how that could be applied to the game's Logic. But I'm in no rush, because I'm going to be mixing up this rando with Zero Missions rando. And when, I, and when I'm able to, I'll actually do Prime randos. That one's a little later on. That's not a big priority. But I do want to do prime randos. I think primes would be really cool. Oh yeah, I forgot. Thank you. All bosses done. Might as well open yellow doors too. Get out of here. That wasn't part of the seed. I wasn't part of the seed settings. You're learning from Oats' chat? Yeah. Love Oats. He's my favorite streamer, but goodness, Oats' chat is uh, something else. Man. It corrupts you slowly. Annoy streamer at all times. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I, I don't commend this. Oh, if you're watching, I do not commend that behavior, okay? I don't. What the? Okay. Miss inputs all over the place, but that's okay. Now, here's the thing, chat. This is not a rando thing. This is just the game. Save. Always save before SAX. Fusion's got something weird with it where you can occasionally turn the SAX into a undefeated, un unkillable killing machine. So, you just, just save. Save before SAX. Always do that. Alright, let's see what the SAX looks like. The Sax guy is unbeatable? No, the Sax guy is very beatable. Sax guy's a scrub. Alright, that's really cool. You got a really cool skin. It's a damn shame you're bad at fusion, my guy. Look at that! Oh, that is hype! Look at you! Dark Samus, anyone? Yo! Dark Samus, anyone? I can't hit doubles today. All right, what the heck is that? Now, one of them had to be a double because that was five. I'll try. I'll try for it. Bye. 
My space jump dropped right when I had it. So annoying. You have to do it right away. Yeah, dropped inputs. It's fusion. It, that happens a lot with space jump. Alright, can, can we stun lock? Can we do it now? Hey! Well, it's not ideal, but still, it's close. Ooh! I am red now! <gasps> hey, I did the JBJ! <laughs> I did the JBJ! Look at that! Yo! Sub Herc. Herc washed. Herc, if you're watching, you're washed. Sub Herc, 141. Flash, I have a better PB on the leaderboard. Uh, I have a better PB that's not on the leaderboard. I don't see it. Hey, check, guys. We should try to convince Herc to get back on Hundo. Right? Let's do it. Let's convince Herc to get back on Hundo. I am so down to get him out of the uh, retirement home. Oh, man. I have a better PB, but she goes to a different school, so you don't know her. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, we'll do one more. Again, not no item requirements today. We'll do. We'll go back to item requirements uh, another time. Don't worry. I do love the item requirement stuff. Um, um, um. Oh, by the way, just a bit of a heads up. My new upload for Final Fantasy Remake on YouTube is up. The hard mode runs will go up. I'm still slowly uploading the normal. If y'all want to watch those. That's definitely a shameless self-plug on my own channel. Um, there will be another upload later today. It'll probably be uh, my other Final Fantasy hit. It's been a long time coming, but I will upload my actual Zero Mission personal best tomorrow, if not tonight. And I'll finally upload it to... Um, I'll finally... Uh, what's its face? Put it on SRC, because I have no ZM SRC PBs yet. Speaking of SRC, let me check and see if my Prime runs got verified. Hmm. Oh, they're still pending? Oh, come on. To be fair, the Prime runs are in a less popular category, so it's probably going to take verifiers a longer time to get to them. Twenty-seven. Oof, that's rough. Four hundred five RTA, three twenty-five RTA. All right, fun seed. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. That was fun. The new update is pretty good, pretty good, pretty good.